Hi, welcome to The Virgo Show. I'm Sherry Hansen. Thanks for joining me today. We're talking with Sherry Marquette, the tourism marketing person for the Virgus Community Club. If you caught our show last week, we are in a membership drive right now. It's January 2016, and like we talked, Sherry, it's like, wow, we've got some great weather going on. Man, we thought last year went fast. This yeah. year's probably going to speed by even faster. You know, but by the time this is airing, we'll probably be in the deep freeze. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> it, well, the fishermen are all complaining that they need ice, so but, I guess you know, we need ice. We do need ice. And and, and and but that being said, you know, isn't it awesome to have a community that, um, in northern Minnesota where they're, you know, just because summer's done, and uh, that's when most of our events are and people, you know, vacation. But we got stuff that go on in the winter around here too. And and, and one of the other things I love about Vergus is within the city itself, we have how many lakes? Is it 22? I think so. There's a lot of lakes yeah. in this town, and they just want them froze over so they can be ice yeah. fishing. Yeah, and right? I already see them sitting out on their buckets. So yeah, so we'll be so eating fish. Good. But like I said, we're in a membership drive, and Sherry, tell me a little bit about what the details are on how you can become a Vergus Community Club member. All right. Um, it's so inexpensive. It's $20, and we ask you to fill out just a little form, tell us a little bit about yourself. And uh, you can either pay that $20 at the city office to Julie, who is there Monday through Thursday, normally, um, and or we have about 10 board members that are um, gonna do a, a, a calling and they will be letting people know what's involved. And or if you wanna get a hold of me, um, I will give you that information later on the show and you can just call me directly and I can come visit you and uh, work with you on that. And we're gonna try and put together a monthly newsletter. Nice, uh, monthly either, or quarterly. So or, yeah. or by email, just so that if you're not regular in Vergus and you want to keep up with what's happening in Vergus. Yeah, if you're sitting down in Arizona <laughs> or, or whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Why would you wanna leave Yes. Us? Um, you can contact, you, you can keep in contact with us so that you know what's going on and if you want to volunteer for something um, we can put you on that list as well. Some of the major events that we do that uh, we use this money for <coughs> are Looney Days of course and we celebrated 50 years this last oh, year. God, yes. um, maple syrup. Now maple syrup is coming up soon. April 9th. Yeah, mark Sherry that on your calendar. We'll be talking more about that as it comes along but every year it gets bigger and bigger. It's You'd think event. people would get sick of maple syrup, <laughs> but they don't. They don't, no. And the real stuff is way better than you what know, you get in stores. Once you've had the real stuff, it's yeah. like, okay, when you go and buy that Aunt Jemima, it's like, oh, it's, it's not gonna work. <laughs> Doesn't taste as good. Well, and that kind of runs along with, with what I do. I uh, am in charge of the farmer's market here in Vergas, and last year we had a phenomenal year. Um, and what's really exciting, Sherry, is 50% of the, our visitors at the farmer's market are from Vergas. That's nice. Um, they don't mm -hmm. disappear. They, they support us, and the town has supported us. And we're also hooking up with the U of M. They do a lot of training on clean foods, green foods, good food. Oh, um, okay. it's, it's, it's not going to end. Uh, organic is getting very big, and farmer's markets are being very well attended all over the state. Have you come up with um, days that you're going to be for this next upcoming year? Yes, we're going to start in May, weather pending usually, but we'll, we'll be out there with whatever we have in May or canned goods or breads or what other homemade things that we have. But we'll be doing Tuesdays from 9 to 1 and Fridays 9 to 1. Perfect. And some people go, well, why aren't you there on Saturday? Well, we're farmers, <laughs> folks. <laughs> right. you got to be home sometime making yeah. this stuff that you're And a sell. lot of us do other uh, farmer mm -hmm. markets and other things as well. So those are the two days those we're, we're going to be seeing here. And then we are putting together a kids' day for this spring. Oh, that'll be fun. So the children can come out, plant a seed, take it home with them, and have fun with that. And that's all funded by the community club, isn't it? It um, is. They have helped me to get started. I also get some grant grants. money and help from the uh, Department of Ag. So um, there's a lot of money out there and resources for people to get those kind of green things started. Um, what I like about that is, is, is um, like the community club, you know, our main events, you got the Maple Surf Fest, you got Looney Days, you got Redneck Holla Dazzle, but. And the, the Hairy Man. And the, and the Hairy Man Run, yes, the Hairy Man 5K, which is the first weekend in October, so we'll put that down too, but. Um, 
the farmers market is something you know to th that's a benefit of the community club too is we try to do things to bring people to town to enhance our community and enhan enhance what's going on one of the fun things that we talked about at just one of our meetings is um, for this next year and you might want to be thinking about it is we're going to be having a yard of the month yes. <laughs> yeah I think that is so much fun and so um, you know get get thinking about how you maybe want to do some landscaping or some flowers or, or you know just spiff up your house a little bit but we're going to be going around and doing a yard of the month and maybe even a business of the month if you want to um, get your business up and running on that way it's too. always fun to see people take pride in their yards there's uh, there's several people um, on Main Street in Vergas who really take a lot of pride they in do. keeping their yards clean. Well, and, and when people drive into a community, they when they see a well-kept community, they know that people not only take pride in that, but that, you know, they want to stick around a little bit longer. They want to see what's going on, and, and maybe it's a place that they do want to end up retiring. Um, Sherry, an, another thing that came out of our meeting was, I know a lot of you are familiar with um, um, the community club having done a winter event, uh, Twelfth Night Gala, uh, we've done a Mardi Gras, and I know that it's in the works, and in April we're looking at a boots, belts, and buckles, um, some kind of a Western Yeehaw! event. Yeehaws, right. <laughs> <laughs> and so you're going to want to be thinking about that too, and there'll be more details on that coming. Inner Otter, this has been an awesome campaign that Otter Trail County Tourism has put together and I know you've been working a little bit with that too and that's part our Virgus Community Club has mm -hmm. um, become a put part a of that. Put a lot into that. Yeah. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> what we've done is last year they put up billboards <clears throat> excuse me all over Minnesota not just up here mm -hmm. and they said find your inner otter I and it was it. kind of a teaser type ad and uh, they did some newspaper stuff and we are finding incredible response, especially from the state of Illinois. We are able to track where people are coming to the website, and that website is ottertaillakescountry.com, and then you click on the otter, and then you take a little quiz about finding your inner otter. What do you like to do when you come here? Do you like to sip on wine and sit on the porch, or do you like to visit the museums, or do you like to go tubing? Do you have a family, or are you single? And you kind of take this little quiz, and then it just takes you all over Otter Tail County telling you what fun things would fit your personality. And that's great because it kind of takes out the hard Tailored. part of, mm -hmm. yeah, tailors your trip. So, but we are getting feedback from uh, six, seven surrounding states that is incredible. So that builds all of Otter Tail County, not just Vergas. Right. I mean, because you can't, you know, you have to understand when people come, they're going to be, when you go back traveling, you go to different places. But we want to be one of those destination places. And, and we so, want to make it easy for people. Yeah, well, so. that's great. So be sure and check that out. Well, Sherry, I really appreciate you coming on our show. I'm, uh, I appreciate me. what you are doing for the Vergas Community Club and bringing people to the community. We have a great community here. Mm -hmm. And um, hopefully you have the opportunity to think about how you can either just become a member and pay that 20 bucks and or if you want to volunteer there's always those opportunities and we're going to try to make it easier for you to understand and know what's going on and by so that join newsletter. Us in so Vergas. join us and be join part of that. Join us our club for $20. Yes and um, one last thing I want to get on is if you have some show that you want to put on the uh, TV3 if you've got an event going on if you have um, just some kind of human interest thing then you know, or if you do something special that you think other people might want to know about be sure and contact me here at the bank and um, we'll get a TV3 show on that too. So you have a good day, Sherry, and you have a good day in Vergas.